Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're back here playing some Age of Engineering, some 1.10 modded Minecraft, and man, it's Extreme Reactor Day. <laughs> Yesterday, in my One Man, One Mod series, it was Nuclear Reactor Day. Today, though, it is this. So let's go ahead and make a whole bunch of this HOP graphite bars. Those are all going right there. They're getting pulled into the system, so everything should be good. Let me just uh, grind up all those. We might need them down the road. We certainly don't need any more of these crazy things. Let's put these guys in there too, and those can all cycle through. Okay, perfect. So now if we go up here, oh, yeah, okay. Let's see, is that where that stuff, is it showing up in there? It is. Okay, so let's go here into our engineer's workbench. Now that we've got some stuff figured out. All right. Oh. Yeah, what's going on there? Let's stop being crazy. Hey, dang guy. Okay, so we're going to make 10 of these 100% graphite electrodes. 10 of those guys. Okay, and now let's see if we can't make our reactor control rods. Uh, we have those. We have those. Did I make some more reactor casings? No. Okay. Let's make... Uh, boom, boom, boom. I don't know. Let's make 40 of those. Can we make all that stuff? Yeah, we're going to have to do some stuff. That's okay. Um, everything should be back online. All right. Let's go down here and just... Hello? Check. We should have power back in this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in good shape. Everybody's happy down here. Hello, a little frame rate issue. Man, the game is like, don't don't be getting too far down the road, man. <laughs> All right, so while that's making, let's go up here real quick like, oh, no, hello. Let's go up here. And let's get some of this dense cable. All right, and we want to make some of this uh, light blue stuff. That's light blue? Yeah, light blue. No, not cyan. Uh, not that. This, right? So let's make uh, a couple of these. Can I use like a lapis thing? Uh, I guess not. So let's make some light blue dye. There we go. Okay. Light blue cable. Okay. That should be plenty. Let's grab this. I don't think we're going to need this much at all. We also need an import bus, which we have. Okay. We also need an export bus, which we have. And we need a crafting card. So let's uh, make one of these. Can we make one of those by chance? No. Okay. Let's make a basic card. Can we make one of these? <laughs> oh, man. We don't have anything. Okay. Crafting card. What do we need? We need some iron and gold. Oh, my goodness. I never have any iron ingots. I guess I just burned through. Everything is kind of like on... Uh, here, let's make some of these. Okay, start. You do your deal. How are you guys doing? What are we making here? Um, iron ink, it's there. Dark steel. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit. Some eulorium. Some electrical steel. Yeah, I mean, so what are we crafting right now? Dark steel? Yeah. So it's going to be a little bit until we can get those reactor casings. How many of those do we have now? Uh, we still have two. Okay, so we're going to have to wait a little bit of time for that. Okay, but at least we can run some cable. So let's see if we can't figure out where this cable goes. Uh, where's my shovel? There it is. Okay, let's put that there and get this back on our bar. Okay, so let's go maybe here. What is that? That is something I don't need to worry about. Oh, oh no. Okay, that should be okay. That wasn't super smart, was it? put this back here stop stop trying to drain water all over the place uh, let's see so uh, we should be at the corner somewhere ha <laughs> look at that money 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 that's right so we can technically just run regular cable off this thing because we just need two right two connections here let's put this back that's amazing that we found that it's almost like we planned we didn't but I'll take it. So, but if we're going to do it, we might as well do it right. So let's run this big cable up here. Okay, see, we can sneak around here. So we got to go one more up. 
Yeah, and we're just gonna sneak this around and we're gonna fall down, of course. Uh, hmm. I wanna just land right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Let's take out this guy. And this guy. Okay. All right. And we want that to come. Here, do I have like any blocks? Yeah, I do. Okay. Let's just temporarily. Is that the right height or does it have to come up one more? Has to come up one more. Okay. Let's make a spot so we can at least stand over here. Let's break that. And then we'll go like that. Okay, and then we're just gonna hook this around the side of the house. Is that the right level? Yeah. Okay, we got plenty. So let's just uh, let's run it like this. All right, and then on. So this is output. So this is gonna be our export bus, right? And we're gonna go like so. And then over here, this is going to be. No, other way around. Okay, import bus is going to go here. Export bus is going to go there. Okay, and then, I mean, we have some channels here. Let's get some regular cable, some regular uh, smart cable. Do we have some? Yeah, we do. All right, we don't need you anymore, guy. Okay, so we can go like so and so and bring this out, that out, and connect that. Okay, and these should light up with two channels. Yes? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, can we still access that? Let's go here and let's build ourselves like a little ledge that we can at least step on. Can we get up here and access this import bus? Yes. Okay. Import bus is good and export bus. Okay. So let's leave that here for now. Let's go inside. How about we go like aim that way? Perfect. All right, and let's go over here. I don't know why I have steel ingots. Let's dump some stuff out of our inventory in here. Okay. All right, what's up with my crafting jobs? So we're still making dark steel. We have to make electrical steel still. Okay, but what I want to do is I want to get some Eulorium out of here. Let's grab some of that. And let's go put this into a sag mill like here, right, and throw that in there. And let's see, do, are we gonna get some cyanide or is it not gonna give us anything if we don't have anything like some flint? Let me see, do I have some flint kicking around here somewhere? I do, oh, just exactly a stack. How about we put half a stack in here? Now oh, we did get a little bit, so we do get a little bit out. Bonus output 125%, that's okay. So let's see, cyanide dust, can we just smelt it? Yeah, okay. So if I take this out of here, this is actually going to be handy. So we can put this guy in here maybe? Yeah, okay, that'll smelt up. Awesome. All right, so we're getting some Eulorium dust. That's probably good for now. And let's put this in here. I just really need a Eulorium ingot is what I need. So let's let one of those smelt up. So I need one of each of these. Okay, perfect. So I just want to set up these uh, import deals. Let's sleep through the night. It's dark outside. It's dark and scary. Okay. So if you don't know uh, how these extreme reactors work, they're going to run on Eulorium. They're going to run on Eulorium, and they're going to export cyanide as a waste product so we can go like that i hear stuff burning okay and then we want to go here maybe we'll wait can i get to the re the the actual port yeah okay so let's wait a second before we actually put this in here because i don't want it to go too crazy um, we're going to build a crafting card for it uh, so we can oh get out of the water hole God, there might be some bad guys around here. We're going to build a crafting card for it. So if it doesn't have Eulorium, it'll make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Did I get any more Eulorium? I did. Okay. 
That's not too bad. Or not Elorium, Cyanite. Okay. Okay. Let's grab this. Perfect. And then we'll dump um, all this other stuff in here, like so. One, two, a three, a four, a five. Okay. So what are we waiting for? So it's still going to make Elorium, even though I added some in there. Um, we just have to get everything done. What's it doing right now? Making electrical steel? Yeah, I guess that's exactly what it's doing. I don't know why I have one of these sitting here. Yeah, so it's making electrical steel. That means our alloy furnace is fired up, taking care of business. That's awesome. That's exactly what we want. Anything else that we have going here? Reactor. How many of these reactor guys do I have now? Uh, still two. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> we got plenty of Eulorium. And once we get our reactor full, um, it, we should be in good shape there. Yeah? Okay. So we're trying to make these. So we need to get those reactor casings. Let's take a look at fuel. Uh, fuel rods. Yeah, these. So we need some fuse quartz. Let me make sure we understand how to make that. We need some quartz. Okay, quartz. Can I craft this? Yeah, we're going to need like a ton. Let's just do that. There. You do your deal, guy. We should see that coming in momentarily. Yep, okay. And how much? I do have some fuse quartz. So let's make a couple of these fuel rods. Reactor fuel rods. Right, how many can I make? We need 35. We All of our RTG pellets are done. That finished off camera. So I can go like five. Okay, so that's that's one set. Uh, or not even one set. I just need to get more fused. Okay, I guess I don't have a recipe for that. That's okay. Quartz. Starting to come in. Okay. I should probably make a recipe for fused quartz. It's a processing recipe. Here, did I kick this back in here? No. Okay. So, let's take a look here. Oh my goodness, I hate typing on this thing. Fused quartz. I have four. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is. Let's see how we make this stuff. It's right there. So, it's... So, four gives me one. Okay. So, if we look here... And we go put one of these over here and then quartz. One, two, three, four, like that gives me one of these. And that goes in the alloy smelter. Let's see if we've got a spot in our alloy smelter. Oh, we don't. Dang it. I knew that was going to be an issue. Is there anything in the alloy smelter that we can take out? Uh, how about this? How about we don't need that anymore? There we go. Now the problem is our alloy smelter is currently being used reactor casing oh we got a bunch of these now okay let's see if we can't make our uh, control rods let's just do reactor these guys right so we should be able to make one two three four it used those other ones <laughs> anyway, well, good. So we have our we have our control rods. We just need the rest of our fuel rods. Let's see, fuel rod. Oh, that means we just need glass, right? Okay. Let's see if our crafting job is done. Okay, so we can actually make now um, fused. Dang it. F fused. Okay, and let's make I don't know a hundred. No. Let's make... That many. Start. So if I can get seven of these at least, that's going to be a good thing. Okay, so the last thing we need to make, and we haven't made it yet. i got to figure out what we're waiting for. There's probably something. Uh, it's this. Oh, we needed things to free up. Okay. So, can I make any crystals? I have two Lapatrons. Okay, let's see. Can I make these?
Okay. And then reactor. This guy, MFE. Okay. Energium dust. We need 18. Okay. Compressorize these guys. I should make uh, recipes for this stuff, but whatever. I'm not too worried about it. Compressor, you go in there, do your deal. Okay. Uh, react, reactor. Okay, so we need this. And then we're trying to make this guy. Okay, that's better. Um, then we just need to make a uh, basic machine casing. Oh my goodness. Iron plates. Okay, need eight. They're starting to come in. Okay. Reactor, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Let's just hold a second. Do I have them? No, of course not. We do now. Okay. All right, so there's our MFE. And then, can we make this? What do we need? Is that an advanced machine casing? Yeah, okay. I think down here. We can make one of those, easy, okay. <laughs> that was a big sigh, wasn't it? Oh my goodness. Okay. And then you go here, and here's that. Okay, now, reactor. Right? Reactor, redstone flux power tap. Here we go. Uh-oh. Always something, man. I forgot that that was one of these things. All right, let's make some of this. Can we make that? Yeah, okay. And then we can make this. Okay. And then what are we missing here? We're missing essentially everything. Okay, not a problem. All right, let's see. Can we make... Uh, no. Why can't I make those? Coal dust. Coal dust. Okay. That should start coming in. I will drink some coffee. Okay, so we need some of these. What? Have I not been making this? Where is that stuff being made? dust gets made. Ah, we'll figure that out. Okay, let's go like this. Let's come over here to our old standby. This guy works all the time for us. Never causes any trouble. Never has to mess around. We got all this other crazy stuff like fired up all the time. I have no idea where that coal dust even got made. Oh, it's making it. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we're getting it. It just took a while. Okay, no problem. So, capacitor. Right? So, we need to make some double layers. We need two of those. One, a two. And then we need to make four. Oh, no. That's not true. We need two, three, uh, no, four. 
five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight of those guys, eight double layers. And then we need to make some octatics. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right, so we're making a reactor redstone tap. So we need this. And then we should have everything except for the electrical steel. Okay, so let's make four of those. Next, uh, start. Okay, you do you do your thing, electrical steel guy. All right, fuse quartz, we have it all? Yeah, okay. So reactor, we need fuel rods is what we need. Uh, these, okay. And we have, let's see how many we can make. 17. We're short. Oh my goodness. Okay, fused quartz. Let's make uh, another two stacks. No. Next. Start. Okay. So let me let this, let me make this fuse quartz. This is going to take a little bit. We want to get this reactor fired up today and stop messing around. And maybe, just maybe, we can do something else, which would be kind of cool. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. I got all my fuse quartz made, so I made my fuel rods. I have my reactor control rods. The last thing we need to make to get this thing fired up is... We move our mouse out of the way. We need to make the redstone uh, power tap. So we need to make a vibrant capacitor bank. I got my electrical steel made, so I can make that. And then we should be able to go like so. So there we go. There's all our pieces parts. Now, let's head upstairs. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I, I, I was looking at my uh, hunger a little bit. It's getting a little bit low. That's because I put this thing out here. Look, it has almost 700,000 hunger points and 340,000 health points. So if I go like that. Yeah, there we go. Now we're back in business. And we don't have to worry about eating probably uh, essentially forever. So there you go. That's how awesome we are today. <laughs> All right, let's go up here. So here we go. Oh, don't, no, stay up, up here, guy. All right, so we have to take this out. And we need to... Do we have some blocks that we can build with? Yeah. So let's get right here in the middle. Right there. And let's go up here a little bit. And we want to knock this guy out. This guy. This guy. This guy. And this guy. So like a little uh, plus sign. Okay. And then in these holes that we just made go these guys. Yes. All right. All right. All right. And then we have our 35 fuel rods. So we're going to go down with these guys like so. Okay. Let's go down a step. And we're going to do this and this. Okay. Let's go down two more. Hopefully we can reach these. I think we can. All right. So we're going to bring these all the way down to the bottom. Yes, okay. We should have five more. Yep, so one goes here. One goes in the middle. One goes here. One goes here. And then one goes there. Okay, so there's our fuel rods. And the last thing we need to do is we need to put our power tap in, like so. And then we just need to finish off our structure. And everybody should be happy, right? Okay. Bang, bang. That thing should multi-block up. It did. There is a completed extreme reactor. Oh, man. Yeah, boy. Now we can start firing some stuff into this guy. So let's go down here. And it's not turned on yet. So we can fill it up with some uranium. Or no, yellorium. So we need a yellorium ingot. Okay, and then I need a crafting card is what I need. So let's take a look here. So I need one of these, and we need this. So what what is what do I have? Okay, I don't have like anything. So can I make gold? Uh, can I make these? Yeah. So let's make uh, I don't know a hundred of those. There we go. Start. 
You start doing your deal. And then we need a crafting card. We need one of these guys like so. Calculation uh, processor. So calculation processor. Calculation. Calculation. This guy. All right, we just need one. So let's go ahead and make that. We have all the stuff. Of course we do. We're not even slightly worried about it. So that should be coming back in just a second. Then we can make this crafting card. And then theoretically, we should be able to not only... Uh, not only... What am I trying to say? Not only export Yalorium, but if we need it, we can make it. Yeah? That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. <laughs> so is this done? No. All right, let's take a look here and see what's happening. Uh, is this done? Crafting... Is it done now? Yes. Okay. That goes there. And then a crafting card. Do we have a workbench? We do. There we go. Okay. I think this is how we're going to need to do it. We'll find out momentarily. Okay. We want to go like up here. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And then we should be able to go to this guy and put this in there and put that in there. And you can see that we're filling this guy up slowly with Eulorium. Filling up these fuel rods with that Eulorium stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's take these out. We probably don't need these anymore. This should be good. Okay. Let's go inside the house and we'll sleep through the night just to make sure we're not having any trouble. Yes. Okay. And now, let's go up here and see. So this thing is going to fill up slowly but surely. Let's take a look at our control deal. Okay, so we have to get this thing filled up. It's going pretty quick. So let's let this thing fill up all the way. Oh, I have a feeling it's maybe trying to craft uh, Eulorium at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're out of the Eulorium that we have stored. But that's okay, because it should be still pretty fast. You get this thing. So the the plan is our core heat should go through the roof. But what we're what we're trying to accomplish here is we want to. Oh, you know what we need to do as well. Let me go grab something real quick, which is while we're waiting for that to happen. Uh, do I have any gilborium dust? I mean, it's making it right slowly but surely. How am I processing gilborium? I can't remember. <laughs> Now you guys might say, hey man, why are you not, am I doing it like in the crusher or something? No, not there. Am I doing it in the alloy furnace? Yeah. I mean, that's maybe not the best way to do it. I mean, we have a uh, capacity. I mean, it's okay. Once we get it full, we should be okay. I mean, we could also make a bunch if we wanted to. So if I get some Eulorium uh, ore, like maybe like two stacks of Eulorium ore, I think I can run this stuff through the macerator and it does what it needs to. So if I go here to the macerator, can I run that through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let that go through. How's my power? Ah, we're in perfect shape with power. So I'll let this stuff run through, and then I will put that in there. Okay, let's go upstairs, and let's grab some of that Eulorium dust. Eulorium. Okay. We could do that. We go down here, and then we can throw this in there. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and that should be making Eulorium pretty good, right? Yeah, so we're getting some. It's exporting what it needs to. How's this doing? Everything's good? Okay, should be taking care of business. That's for sure. Now, if we go up here, is it full? Should be. That should be plenty. Yeah, okay. So, I think we can turn this thing on, right? So, let's do it, right? 
Activate reactor. <laughs> and we're producing power. Okay, and we're doing pretty good for ourselves. And it should be producing... Let's see, so right there, you can see waste. See how fast it's counting up? Every time it hits a thousand millibuckets of waste, we get another cyanide ingot, essentially. So, what I want to do is... Now, we have an extra, like, five, six thousand RF a tick, which is pretty huge. Let's get our power cell out of here. Let's learn how to type. This guy is good. This guy is good. All right, let's put him down. Does he have a thing in there? No. Okay, you can go there. And we'll set him to in. Okay, and we will break that. So nothing that we've got going on right now is using, really using this much power. I mean, everything's kind of, uh, at least not yet. Oh, we need a conduit. Do we have one of those big fancy conduits? Uh, this one. Yeah, okay, let's grab that. I mean, this thing can only take in... I don't remember. Input output five thousand RF a tick. Okay, so well we really can't cheat. So we're just gonna put this here. Actually, you know what we should do? Hmm. We'll do that maybe next time. Uh, yeah, because we're getting kind of long in this episode. Let's put that in there, and then this thing. I don't know if it's actually gonna drain any power or not, but so we're essentially full. Still running though. Still producing waste. Yeah, I mean, so almost three millibuckets a tick, and we're making six point uh, three thousand RF a tick. Yeah, boy. Auto eject waste. That's what we want. Okay, now, so we had like a couple cyanide ingots. Let's see how many we have now. Cyanide. So we have seven. So we should see this increment here shortly. Yep, there's eight. Okay, and again, the reason we're making cyanite, so let's take a look at this thing. The reason we're, oh, no, cyanite. Here, how about here? Dang thing. Okay, so the reason we're making this stuff is we need to take, th we need to take this stuff and put it in the carpenter to get plutonium. Okay, and then we're going to take plutonium and we mix it with all this random stuff, emerald blocks and ender pearls, to get ludicrite blocks, which in turn allow us to make a wyvern core. So this whole process, all this crazy stuff, has been essentially getting us down to the point where we can make a wyvern core because the next thing we want to build, uh, we need wyvern cores for. No, we don't need it for that. We need wyvern cores for use. Four. No. Uh, mob grinder for this, for the mob grinder, because we need to make sword of the wyvern, which needs a wyvern energy core, uh, a wyvern energy core, which requires all kinds of crazy stuff, um, but it also requires. No, here, this. Wyvern core, right? Ludicrite block. So that's the reason that we're doing this whole thing. So we need to make two of those. And then we need a Wyvern energy core, which doesn't require any of this stuff, but it requires all this other kind of crazy stuff. Demon metal. Wow, oh, dang. Okay. <laughs> I think uh, I think you guys told me how to make demon metal. Do we have a minute or two? Maybe we can just uh, see what we can do. Uh, lava. We have a bucket of lava. Do we have some nether brick by chance? Another brick, another brick. Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's go downstairs and let's see if we can't set up a little, uh, little demon metal factory somewhere. And we'll try to automate it if we can, but we just need like a spot. How about in here? Do I have like the ability to get? I'm a little worried. I might have to get another P2P tunnel going on around here. I, mean, I don't even know if this stuff's running. I mean, that's running, but... I mean, that's still taking care of business. Okay, let's just temporarily, so we can get a little bit of this stuff actually working, let's dig out a little bit here. We don't want to go too far. We can go one more, though. Okay. And let's dig just a little bit more. Maybe like right to there. Okay. 
And now let's go, is that right? Is that how we want that? Or do we need to go back one more? Let's go back one more. Got to be careful with this crazy pick. It's insane. Okay, there we go. And then we want to dig out a little spot here. Okay, we're going to make a little platform of netherrack here, right? And then we're just going to go like this. And we're going to build this thing. And we're going to put a bucket of lava right in the center of that thing. Now that should be how we make demon metal. And I want to say it's gold. Put this in here. Okay. Gold. I want to say that's how we do it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Demon metal. That's awesome, actually. It's kind of sketchy. Like, all those particles go flying all over the place. And I guess occasionally it burns up. Oh, we can't go too fast. Okay. All right. So that should be able to give us everything that we need now. That we can make demon metal. We can make cyanite. Let's take a look and see how much we have. Cyanite. We're at 22, working like a dream. I'm going to go off camera and between the episodes, and we're going to just produce tons of cyanite. And then I think finally, I think finally, dra uh, mob, no, mob grinder, right? I think finally, after like forever, we're actually going to be able to make this thing. We can make all of these pieces, right? Demon metal, we know all about. We can make these energy tablets. We can make capacitors. We need to make an ultimate control circuit, which we need some tantalum for. I'm a little worried about our tantalum supplies. I have to remember where we got tantalum. Tantalum. I mean, I have 146. That might be okay. Probably not long term. But anyway, I mean, there we go. Reactors fired up. We know how to make demon metal. We're, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Man, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my Age of Engineering series, where finally, 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 I think we're in good shape to be able to start officially Draconic Engineering. <laughs> I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.